Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I just have a tip on using uh, little acetate layers on your projects. I had a question from two different um, viewers and they asked about using these layers. So I'm just going to show you how a couple of ways that I use them in particularly in attaching them to a card making project where you can't see the adhesive. Now this one comes from the Color Theory Pack, um, Memories and More Color Theory Pack, which has uh, these clear acetate sheets with some print, beautiful print embellishments on them already that you can use uh, on your card making or memory keeping projects. Now in a in memory keeping, if you're using the pocket system, the overlays just go right on top either your photo, if it's four by six, okay, or another three by four card, if it is an accent piece. Let me see if I can find something where you can see. Just say, for instance, this, how you can see the pink show through. And if you had journaling on here, it, you, that would slip into the pocket and you could see it very careful, very easily. Here, what I've done is I've used another card from that card kit, let it snow, and I've layered the clear acetate with this little hexagon print up at the top. And so in order to adhere it so it stays on the card, I know I'm thinking about what I'm going to use to add to the card on top of that acetate sheet. So I have this little uh, snowman that I've used and it's from the Seasonal Chums stamp set that's in the holiday catalog. And I knew I wanted him down here in this corner. So I've already put a mini glue dot between the acetate layer and the card beneath it. So now I can just take the dimensionals off of him and put him on top and he's gonna cover up that mini glue dot, okay? So now this is still sliding around a bit, all right? So in the coordinating framelits that go with this seasonal chum set, there are some snowflakes, okay? So I have already die cut those from Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper and I'm just gonna look around and see where I can attach those on top. And then once I've decided that, I'm gonna take my roll of mini glue dots and I'm going to place it beneath the acetate layer like that, okay? And then I can do the same thing over here if I need it. That's pretty steady now, so I think that one more glue dot is going to be fine. So let me go ahead and take this small snowflake, use a mini glue dot behind it, and then I just kind of roll these up on a smaller die cut so that it really doesn't show through. And then I'm going to put it on top right there where you can't see the glue dot underneath the acetate. And since I feel like that's secure, I don't need another glue dot beneath there. So let's just go ahead and use our other snowflake. Find a glue dot first. Put it beneath that center. Roll it up a little bit and just attach it just like that. And then that card is ready to go. Now, I finished some of this card before I actually put those pieces on top. You wouldn't have to do that. I just wanted the card to be finished so you could see the finished uh, result. So let me show you one more tip I have. This is another, um, this is from a different Memories and More kit. I can't remember exactly which one it's from, says hello. And some of them, I wanted to let you know, do have a plastic coating on the back. Most of them do, okay? And you just pull that off, all right, so that you have that clear back. And if I want to use this like as the focal point of a card with not a lot of embellishments around or I don't, or the embellishments are gonna be below this, this is what I did. I added this right here. Okay, let me show you what I did. 
I'm taking a post-it note. These are the three by three stacks. And I'm gonna line this up on my grid sheet and I'm going to cover up all but one quarter inch here. I'm having a little trouble keeping my sheet down. You get the idea here. Okay, so there that is. So it's covering up this piece. Then I'm gonna take my Versamark ink and I'm going to just rub that over that acetate that's still showing there. And then if it gets some on here, that's okay because you're going to pull that off. I've got some silver embossing powder. It looks like it has a little bit of dazzling diamonds mixed in, so that's gonna be a pretty shine. Okay, then I'll take my heat tool, and because we're dealing with acetate, I'm gonna heat it up away from the piece. And then let's go ahead and do our embossing. And you can see it melting. And you can see where it added some to the post-it note. But that's gonna be okay. Let it cool just slightly, and you want to heat it just long enough where it's melted, and then you can pull this off. And there you have another border strip. And then what I would do is put the mini glue dots behind these edges. You could always do it behind the hello, but this makes it easier. You probably could use a thin piece of the tear -in tape and attach that to a card front. Okay, so I hope that helps with using acetate layers. If you will, visit my website at inkandinspirations.com to see how I finish this project. And for more information, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.